This is Shanghai, yeah. Holy heck, everyone looks so wealthy. What the fuck is a Prada party? What the fuck is a Burberry party? If I'm rejected on this list, I'm actually gonna be so fucking angry and embarrassed. I wore my um, CDG 1995 vintage. OOTD guy. Yeah, Han, Han, Han. Han, Han. Oh, they look fucking straight. Yeah, just this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the guess list is 10. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just a bit. Thank you. Oh, whoa. Okay. Guys, we so got in because they're hot. <laughs> it was the shirt. Yeah, it was actually the shirt. Oh fuck, guys! I'm entering a world of like luck. Wow! 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 Oh my god, she's so pretty. Do you want a photo of me? Do you want a photo of me? I can smell money. I can smell money. I can smell money. Shanghai, hey! Yeah. Fuck, it's so wealthy. So many white people, eh? Hi there. What the pardon? What is that? Is this a fucking line for a fake tattoo? Oh, vlogging, so am I. I think she's famous. I think that girl is just famous. Wait, I want a photo here. Hang on, hang on. There's this guy, there's this guy pushing in. Oh, mate, he does not belong there, though. Boy, look at that man over there. Oh, I can flex it. It's <laughs> a full on photo shoot. Hang on, hang on. Oh no, you go on first, babe. Okay, I see. That works in Shanghai. Oh, he ain't doing it right. She's not happy. Babe, your face is in the shadow. Come forward a bit. Come forward. Babe, babe. Yeah. That's so rough. She took such good photos of him. Now he's like doing the shittest job of her. Can that guy behind her chill the fuck out? Though? I've been waiting for so long. She's so over it as well. Is that video? Yeah, I'm waiting in line too, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, in Asia, when you see a line, you fucking join it. Right now we're at Jia Jia Tang Bao. Maybe Justin Bieber's in there, dining? I don't know, but there's like a huge queue. I think people read up online just like me that um, it's one of the most popular Xia Long Bao places in Shanghai. This better be fucking worth the hype, eh? Tim doesn't like waiting for lines, so like he's gonna go for a walk, but I can do a line. I can do a line. Um, people wait for their favorite singers before a concert. I can wait for some fucking Xia Long Bao. I've been standing in this line for so fucking long, it feels like my dick's grown bigger by the time Tim came back. I'm just imagining that these people are here for me, so it makes the wait a little bit less painful. <laughs> I'm getting so nervous. It's like when you like, um, in primary school, when you like go hand your like, book to the teacher for feedback, and like they just fucking shit all over it. She hates me. Two people. All right. All right, can we... Oh, fuck. Okay. Can we please get... Pure pork and crab meat and pork. Um, oh, no, no. Cancel. Can, can we get egg yolk and pork and crab meat and pork? Thank you. My cheeks are fucking dying in Shanghai because I'm always like, she 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 to, to the lady, but they're not buying it. They don't give a fuck. I love it. Love that for them. And we ordered the egg yolk and pork because I heard that one's fucking amazing. And we also ordered the crab and pork because we have crab and pork at another Sha Long Bao place and that was after that I understood what umami was I'm not using that word trying to sound cool anymore 24 dumplings soup dumplings which are very very hard to make 65 yuan so that equals up to around 15 New Zealand dollars usually when you get like cheap eat they're very fucking fast but over here it's actually taking quite a little while so it ensures that each dumpling is like made to order very fresh and looking over there they they are so delicate with the dumplings like not even my mum 
gave me that type of treatment as a baby. And none of them are speaking to each other. They're just all so focused on what they're doing. If I studied that hard in university, I would not be an Instagram star. Oh, yay! Shishi! Ah, oh, motherfuck! That was fucking hot. The lady's watching me, so I'm like really scared about what I'm doing wrong. This over here, my friend, is not tea. And don't learn that the hard way. It's vinegar. You want to dip your shalom bao into that? Just give it a huge punch and a kick. Uh, what you do is you grab one of these. Be careful not to tear them. Oh my god, they're so thin and delicate. What I like to do is you make a little incision. Oh my god. Do you see that soup that came out of it just now? And then you dip it in your vinegar. Whoa. Wow. So I've had Shaolong Bao in two places now. And this one, that soup is so clean. Mmm. That's the egg yolk and pork. And that egg yolk adds more creaminess to the pork. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is legit the best dumplings I've ever had. Now these are the crab and pork ones, and when the crab, oh no, juice is about to pop out of mine. When the crab is rich, that is umami. There's a sweetness, but an ocean flavor as well. This man is like looking at our fucking table, wanting to take our seats, because they're not today, say to I'm gonna put this in one mouthful, because it's been out for a little bit longer, so I know it won't burn me inside. Korean shrimp crackers. Imagine that in the broth and just exploding in your mouth. That's amazing. That feeling after I, for the first time, I switched over from MDMA to cocaine. It's just that clean. You're awoken. So that type of thing that you can only explain to like a dance. What shouldn't be happening is exactly what's happening. Just like my Instagram. And you guys need to hit this. I'm so sorry. My nails are so long right now, but. These Shaolong Bao, worth like all my money, all my time, worth it, worth it, worth it. Yep, yes, 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 delicious, 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 delicious. Mwah, 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 mwah. I just met Mike like two minutes ago and I, just, I feel really faint right now and you said sniff the... The last time I sniffed something a guy gave to me, um, <laughs> it like made my like brain cells pop and I was like phasing down. It was in like family bar in Auckland and there was a guy just like putting against my nose, I don't know what it was, but it made me feel like super woozy and like, I like dropped to the ground. Drink, drink up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, Mike. Uh, his gorgeous girlfriend is opposite me as well, um, June. And you got the really good eyebrows. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, his eyebrows are great. I have to draw thanks. mine on. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Couldn't tell. So like, oh, no, they're... I've been, a, I've been asked if I drew, I drew my eyebrows, but I, at that point, I didn't even know that was possible. In Hong Kong, they were like, it was like black smudge coming down my <laughs> fucking face. It was so humid, and I was like... Were you like the crow? So what restaurant are we at now? We're at a restaurant called Yongxing Chan Ting. It's like a very Shanghainese. Yeah, yeah, it's Shanghainese restaurant, and um, I've been coming here for five years. How would you compare the dining scene in Shanghai from five years ago to now? Oh, it's exploded. Huge change in just a matter of a couple of years. The customer's palate has definitely elevated a lot to the point that we're spoiled here. Right? And then that, if I don't like this place, forget it, I'll just go next door or down the block. And you can be a cunt. I, can, I could totally be a cunt. I love that for you, I love that for Shanghai. <laughs> it's like the fucking city for me. How do I know where to actually go in Shanghai? I think for sure, um, and this is not unique to Shanghai, but definitely if there are lines. Right. Line. Yeah, if there are lines. Oh yeah, actually. That's definitely one. You're one so way. right. I think it comes down to I need to fucking know a local. Uh, I have a question. Are you a double eyelid real? Uh, they are real. So. Cool. <laughs> no, I was just wondering. <laughs> Getting into that. Um, before I lived in New York till I was 25, 26, uh -huh. and then I moved over here. Up till that point, I was single eyelid. Uh -huh. I came here and I turned double eyelid. You can tell me if they're fake. No, 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 they're real. Well, at least I didn't 
do any operation. No, I've had Botox, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Oh my god, they're real. They're real. Happened to me as well. But it fucking happened to one eye, and this one got half ass, so it's like really small over like, here. Come on, come on. And this, yeah, and I'm just like, develop, develop, develop. But this one just like, it just didn't happen. So like that one is a thinner eyelid than that one over here. This one's so fucking pretty, man. So like, if, if that one just like, just, just a little bit. Are you always that way? No, I used to have them. Um, I didn't have them back in the day. So I, I remember I went to Korea once, and then when I came back, my like folds start to show, uh -huh. and then like all of like Korean society in Auckland was like, Albert had fucking plastic surgery, and I was like, <laughs> well like, now, what you think. but now they can say that because I got Botox, so I'm, I lose. I know a girl who used to get glue, and she just like every day she glued her double eyelid, and it became permanent. So good on her. Okay, I was the exact opposite. All right, so. I only had double eyelids seasonally because of allergies. Oh, yeah, yeah, allergies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Oh I God, hated it. So then I, I come to Shanghai, I was expecting, okay, shouldn't have too much, uh, too much of a problem with pollen. Yeah. But then next thing you know, I started getting super deep double eyelids. I'm like, man, what the hell is happening? No, they're great. So I was doing everything in my power to reverse it. I was putting like tape on it and going to sleep. I was like, this doesn't feel comfortable because oh, it yeah, feels no. like someone's pulling on your like eyelid. A penis is just like plopped on there. It's just like real heavy. And it's just yeah, like, just like two really small penis. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, wow. Food's already here. Yes, yeah. What do we have? This is the drunken chicken. This is the duck roll. So they debone a duck and then they leave the outer part of it and they put the egg yolk in the middle and they roll it up and then they steam it and then that's what you get. Oh my god. It's cold. The yolk gives a creaminess, a salty duck. Is that real balance? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, okay, I see. I see that. And this is cold chicken. Oh, I'm not sure about you, mate, but like cold chicken took me a while to get used to. You're I'm never that of. like leftover KFC in the fridge the next day kind of guy. Oh, I would microwave it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was, I was yeah. savage. I just go straight. Oh, I, I would eat I would eat pizza cold. Like, do you know that phrase, eat that pussy like cold pizza? Mmm, no. Okay, so uh, <laughs> it's just my friend used to say it all the time. I thought he like learned it from a rap song, but I think it was his original thing. Miguel, if you're watching this. Drunken chicken. So it's been infused in alcohol. I mean, most of the alcohol content is burned off mm. during the cooking process, so it's more of a fragrant thing. Mmm, yeah. it's juicy. It's really juicy. This is great, and the skin doesn't smell. Oh, that is up Tim's alley. When Tim eats chicken on rice, he doesn't talk to me because he's just hypnotized. What do you do? What do I do? I'm an interior designer. Did you do that in New York as well? I did. Are you rich? Uh, no, not at all. You're not rich? No, <laughs> not at all. Okay. <laughs> No, I was just wondering because like, interior designs like, in Shanghai and New York, it's just an impressive thing. My definition of rich is being able to pay $10 for toast. Because that is how Aucklanders spend their money. So what's the definition of rich in Shanghai? Most people probably raise their eyebrows if like, oh, you, you have a car. Car. Yeah, you, you drive a car? a car. I don't have a car. So by Shanghai's definition, I'm not rich. My definition of rich is also rich. People don't say they're rich. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Rich people never say they're rich. They always say, uh, I'm comfortable. But like with me, I'm so rich. I'm not, I'm really rich. If you guys ever come to Auckland, I'll, I'll show you a wealthy time. $20 toast. I'm not joking when I say that. So, so if you buy two, two slices of toast, it's 20 bucks. Why? Oh. Why is it so- Hun, I wish I had the answers, but I don't. I, Tom has shown, if you're watching, can you just like hit him up? Okay, bitches, we are in Shanghai. Do you guys eat like this every day? If this is in Auckland, this is how I would treat my guests. I'd be like, you bitches better be so grateful. Mmm, there's a lot more um, depth in the sweetness. Yeah, because the sweet and sour pork and like, Auckland is like so it's like sugar only sugar what is going on here this is a fish covered with um, like a meat sauce like a bolognese in a way <laughs> pescatarian fuck off <laughs> oh whoa I feel like food is such a central part as well to Shanghai Chinese culture it is um, it's it's way that people share um, share and it's also how they um, express that you care for one another you know sometimes you hear the stereotype 
the, the ABC whose parents never says I love you or anything like that. <clears throat> but then it's always eat more. Yeah. Here, eat this. You're too skinny, eat some more. It's their way of saying, I care about you, I love you, right? And I want to look after you. Right, right. You know, actually, I had a Chinese friend. <laughs> I like went to, like, I went, had this like family invited me for dinner at a restaurant. And like, in Korean culture and Western culture, you eat what you're given. Like you need to eat all of it, right? Okay. But these people were like, so that's what I was doing. I was so full and I was still scraping my plate and they just kept giving more and more and more. And I felt like, I was up to here, I was about to vomit. And I was like, I literally started like lying down on the like chair, but I can't do it. And they're like, good, now we can go. And I was just like, and my friend was like, you do not have to finish all of that. When you were like eating and when you were finishing your plate, that was your sign of being like, I'm still hungry. And they're still looking after you by giving you more and more and more. Like the Chinese banquets, or yeah. the wedding banquets especially, exorbitant amount of wastage of food. But they over order on purpose because it's better to have way more left over than not to have enough, right? It's just a way to, to show that I care about everyone. Eat as much as you like. Don't worry about getting hungry or don't worry about their not having enough. And I'm the same way as you. I eat everything in front of me, right? So when we when we went to her family's during uh, the holiday, they're like, "Hey, oh, eat some more, eat some more." I'm like, oh, "I can't." I will wake up like at like nine in the morning, and and her, her mother, God bless her, she already has breakfast ready, and then we eat. It's ten. It's like great. I'm gonna start making lunch now. Uh. And then. <laughs> For that, for a whole week straight, and uh, that's me for two weeks right now. I'm eating so madness. much. Yeah, <laughs> you understand my pain. It's like it's such a blessing, but such a pain as well. You're like, yeah. What are you complaining about? You're you have food. first world Asian problem. First world Asian problem is exactly me right now. You're so right. How do you find Shanghai? Like living here? I think there's a good energy here. Things here move way faster compared back home. Like there's a there's like a sense of hope in this country, right? Because a lot of things are developing faster. People are more willing to try new things or try to build towards some kind of bigger goal, whatever it is. I think that's kind of distinctive for Shanghai. The open mindset of Chinese people in this city, it's almost like a bubble in itself compared to other cities in China. That was fucking beautiful. <laughs> There's a chef called um, Josh Emmett back in Auckland. And like I have a I have very strong feelings towards him. I don't worry that. Oh you'll if you wanna find out you can read my Instagram and just like dig deep. You make me feel kinda of similar. Uh, the similar way I feel towards him. Okay. I'll just keep it at that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like you are you're beautiful words. A lot of respect for this man. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me here, actually. Glad Fun. to have you guys here. Yeah. Right.